Hey everybody, it's Smitty with Smith Show Collectibles. Welcome. Uh, today, guys, we're going to do a fun little box rip. If it's your first time stopping by, um, thanks for stopping by, obviously. And please, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Please leave us some comments. We love all the support we're getting. Uh, like our videos. Share our videos. Tell your friends. Please, we love doing this. It's fun for us, and we love sharing our... Um, the, uh, the collecting that we do, we love sharing it with you guys, and we really appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving us. So uh, give us some comments. We love communicating with y'all. And as always, if you've been here before, welcome back. We really appreciate all the support. So guys, we're going to do a fun little rip. Uh, for those of you who are more into the, let's say, more trading cards as opposed to sports cards, this is a fun little box rip. I haven't done one of these before. We're big comic nerds. And believe me, when I say nerds, that is a compliment. That's a huge compliment. It's one of the ways I kind of define myself. But I love comic books. I love all things Marvel. Uh, big Marvel fan. So the MCU is one of my favorite things that me and the wifey are always going to check out new MCU movies. Uh, whether whether they get great reviews or, or poor reviews, um, you know, for us, we love going to the theaters. And one of the big things for us years ago, it actually was one of the things... One of the first shows that we actually watched that really bonded us was, because we like different types of shows, was Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And recently, the wifey and I decided, you know what, let's go rewatch all seven seasons. So we actually have already made it to season three. But uh, at the time, since I wasn't actually big into collecting and wasn't into trading cards at that particular moment... I missed out and, um, you know, it took years later did I discover that uh, a company called Rittenhouse had actually done a product. This was uh, back in 2015. This is the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, season 1. They actually did a Season 2 that same year. Uh, since then, Upper Deck has actually done a compendium. Obviously, Marvel trading cards are pretty big these days. There's a lot of product being put out by Upper Deck. And, um, along with other franchises like Star Wars and, you know, not just, um, you know, in this case, uh, you know, Rittenhouse had done Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but they have done a ton of other different shows. Um, just to name a few, they were, they've done like Star Trek and, um, uh, they did Spartacus. There was a bunch of different things that have come out. So anyways, this is a hobby box Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season one trading card. What's kind of cool is this is actually, there were only 5,000 uh, boxes released. So number 2367 of 5,000. Actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to pick up another box just to hold on to as a collector's item. But I want to rip this open. Uh, if I remember, recall from the checklist, there are I think like 74 cards for the checklist. Uh, basically it's, uh, you know, like three cards per every episode. I can't do math, so I don't know if that math works out. I think there were 22 episodes, carry the one, divided by two. Who knows? Anyways, I think it was 70-some-odd um, base cards. You are guaranteed one autograph and one memorabilia card. There's also some insert cards, and there is a, I believe it said there is a gold parallel, maybe, number to 100. So that was kind of some of the chase cards they put in these boxes, these limited editions. Only 5,000 boxes ever made. So, um, anyways, I thought it'd be fun to share. We're going to rip it open. For all my Marvel fans out there, this should be fun for you. For all my Phil Coulson fans, I'm sorry, but Phil Coulson, uh, if you all remember in Avengers, he's kind of, his death is what bonded us. And when Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. came out, it's actually uh, sort of the rebirth of Phil Coulson. That was, uh, that's, that's where we started. So, anyways... Oh, I gotta, I gotta cut this little foil sticker here. This is, let's see what we got. I don't want to ruin the box because this is actually a pretty cool box from a, from a, from a big Marvel collector. If you guys watch some of our videos, we've done some really cool, uh, you know, Lego set things like that. I got a ton of, you know, Marvel Lego. There we go. Took that off camera for a second just because that thing was a little tough to, to get open. So there are twenty four packs. Um, I think it's like five cards per pack, maybe. So, and if you guys watch some of our other videos, I kind of, I just, I love when you get like, I grew up collecting in the 80s and 90s, so you get a lot of like, you know, retail stuff where you can pop up the box, lid, the lid like this. So, anyways, let's check these guys out. So, here is our Rittenhouse Season 1 Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. trading cards. See how tough these packs are to open. Oh, these aren't bad. Right, right off the bat, 
There's my boy Phil Colson. All right, let's see what we got. So that's the back of the card, guys. And so again, these are from the actual, these are from the episodes. So what there will be is every episode, there was an episode obviously called Turn, Turn, Turn. Uh, I believe that was what it was. Yeah. And so I think there's like three cards per episode. So we'll just take a look and see what we got. So here is, um, let's see, is this a checklist? Yes. So here's, uh, this is actually pretty, there we go. So this, I believe there were three checklists. So here's kind of one of the, uh, here's the first checklist that we'll kind of show you. And if you look that every, uh, every episode had, um, three, um, there's some title cards and then there's three, um, three, or three cards per episode. So pretty, uh, just a sweet logo right there. Another one from Tahiti, nothing personal. All right. So, and like I said, there are hits in here. There are some inserts. The way they did it with some of the inserts is you're guaranteed like one of each per box. And again, we are chasing autograph cards because there are autograph cards. And here we go. So let's see what this one is because this is not, um, is this another checklist? So this is not a checklist. This is um, title. Interesting. Oh, this is one of the title cards. Yep, there we go. So that's one of the title cards. That's a pretty sweet little card right there. I noticed it was number two. So here we go. Some of our favorite characters. Some of our... Uh, there was, And what I liked, loved about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., if you didn't watch the show, is how um, it kind of coincided with what was going on in the MCU. So, you know, after, like, Thor Dark World, um, you know, there was, like, a Lady Sif appearance. So... So what is nice is since there's going to be a hundred plus some odd cards we get with inserts, uh, we will we should end up getting a full set, which is always nice because you know as a collector it is kind of cool to have um you know to actually have a full set. If you guys watch some of our other videos, I'm a big hockey guy, so I like actually you know not just chasing young guns, but I also like actually collecting full sets. So we are set collectors. So you know we like commons. There's that same, uh, there, and obviously there will be some doubles. There we go. And yep. It was almost like identical to the to a prior pack. Let's see what we got. All right, I feel like we've seen this card a couple times now. There's a different card. There's a new card. Tahiti, it's a magical place. Girl in the flower dress. If you guys remember, that was uh, Reyna who who went into the Terrigen Mist with Daisy to gain their powers. And like I did mention, there was actually also the same year Rittenhouse did release a Season 2. So there is another um, set of cards, Season 2. I believe those might have had two autographs per box. So this is sweet. Okay, so this is one of the inserts. This is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Colby Smulders as Agent Maria Hill. Allegiance... Sweet. This is an Allegiance card right here. Oh, actually, that's really cool. I was like, I was looking at the back. So there's an Allegiance Maria Hill. Oh, nice. That's, that's like super dope. I'm not really sure this. So I thought, I'm like, is this like a, some kind of a, a patch or something? But the way I think they made it is almost like this is like a, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, actually, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not really sure what this, uh, it's kind of slightly raised. Anyways, pretty cool insert. I did mention there are going to be some inserts in here. And um, that's one of them. That's the Allegiance insert. I'm going to get this sleeved up because that's a pretty cool card. Again, I'm not sure the rarity, like I said, because I believe that there were... Um, there were uh, like four different insert types and uh, one, you know, one per box. So, or excuse me, maybe one of each per box. So, but anyways, there's Colby Smulders, uh, number FF15. Sweet. All right. What else we got? So this also, I'll just check in. That looks like, yep, that's another one of the title cards. All right. 
So we're rolling. We got one insert so far. Again, there is uh, one memorabilia card. That's why I got thrown off because that little circle area is kind of uh, raised up a little. I thought maybe that was like a, a, a some part of a costume, but it doesn't feel like it. Trax. I'm guessing this is another title card. Actually, no. Another checklist. Well, this is good because this is going to... So there are, this is actually kind of cool because it does say there are um, ID cards. There are art of level seven and gold parallels. That's pretty cool. So there, and I believe there is a gold parallel um, in every, in every, um, in every box, which is kind of cool. Now I do know they did like these promotional things for like uh, cases. If you bought a case, there was an incentive where there were special ones like Stanley autographs or something like that. But I do, oh, I saw something in there kind of colorful. Uh, so this is the hub, and here we go, and what is this? So is this one of the, um, okay, this is kind of cool, so we'll just get through these last two cards here. So this is one of those, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. art card, damn, that's actually sick. Check that out. So this is one of the art inserts, that's the, uh, Hydra logo breaking through, that is actually awesome, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Cover art by Phantom City Creative. That's awesome. Like, that is a, I mean, listen, for just like a regular insert card, that is a sweet card there. You can tell the little, the edges aren't exactly great. So, Rittenhouse, probably not as well known for their uh, quality control, but as a fan, that is a sweet card. I'm digging that. Nice little uh, silver foil, sort of, sort of holographic look there. I dig that. All right, this is pretty cool, guys. Um, again, big fan. I'm. Uh, we are balls deep into rewatching like 100 and I don't know 70 episodes. So a little near and dear to my heart right now. I'm a little biased, but all right. And it is it is kind of cool being that we just started season three. So you know all these uh, these episodes we literally just rewatched. You know within the last couple weeks. So it's kind of a it's kind of cool. Uh, this this pack feels a little heavier, so I'm guessing there might be an insert in here. Feels like there might be a thick card that could be a um, costume card in there. It, pff, hell yeah! All right, let's just go through the last couple cards. All right, so we got ourselves Agent Phil Coulson. So these are part of Phil's pants, and listen, I don't know if these are necessarily nice. One fifty nine, a three fifty. Agent Phil Coulson, guys, that's awesome. I am a huge, I mean, I love Coulson. Coulson's the best. Uh, that's sweet right there. So this is actually, like I said, that other one had kind of like a circle. This is actual felt right here. So I do not know if these are Phil Coulson worn. I do not know if Clark Gregg's, uh, you know what's touched it, but if the boys were in there, that's pretty dope. I may not have... There we go. I, I don't have any uh, top loaders um, big enough right now because it's a little thicker. They are on the way. Uh, guys, that's a pretty sweet That's a pretty sweet uh, costume uh, card right there. Memorabilia, whatever you want to call it. I believe they were calling them costume cards just because it was part of the outfit. And if they were, like, you know, if they were actually worn by the character, like, in that, I mean, that's pretty sweet. I'm not 100% sure that they were. Pretty cool box so far, guys. This is a lot of fun. Uh, what do we got here? Mission complete. Oh, that was like, that's just a... There we go. All right. This is fun, guys. This is a lot of fun. I actually have one of the um, Upper Deck Compendiums from 2019. I have those guys. I have a box of that on the way, so... And guys, if you're if you're big into, like, you know, you know more stuff like this, um, you know, let us know. Let us know what kind of things you guys collect, because... You know, listen, everyone loves baseball, everyone loves football and basketball, and, you know, we love we love collecting hockey, so, you know, chasing young guns is fun for us, but, um, you know, by all means, guys, let, share share with us the type of things you're collecting. I mean, I grew up collecting Garbage Pail Kids, and now I look back, and I'm seeing how much money some of those are worth, and now they're you know, coming out with new stuff all the time. It's actually, it's very exciting, um, you know, just how much expansion there is of the hobby, and you know, the fact that, you know, some things that, you know, we enjoyed as a kid are, you know, still going or have been brought back. So guessing this might also be a title card. Yeah. So that's also a title card and all right, 
Moving along, guys. You know us, we like to rip one pack at a time. So I know some of our videos get long, and guess what, guys? Y'all can fast forward to the good stuff. For me, it's all good stuff. It's all fun. Going through, checking out these, there you go, checking out these cards. Um, again, that was a very similar pack to a previous one. But with only, uh, I believe it said 74 plus, or 72 plus some inserts, I mean, you know, and, and we're getting, I think, 120 cards or some on. There's obviously going to be some doubles, but so far we have some cool inserts, and we got ourselves a Phil Colson's pants. Right, John, uh, John Garrett, the late Bill Paxton. His autograph is in here, so... Um, that'd be something pretty sweet. I do know that in this season one box, there were no Chloe Bennett, who, the, the Daisy Johnson character. There were no, uh, Chloe Bennett autographs. I do know that much. And please, <gasps> oh, yes. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, baby. I, l oh my God. All right. Sorry. I got a little excited. I literally just mentioned the late Bill Paxton. Woo! All right, we get one autograph. Holy shit. There's a couple, uh, I don't want to be, you know, rude, but there's a couple kind of just ancillary characters, a few duds in the checklist, but holy shit, John Garrett. Bill Paxton is John Garrett on card. Auto, oh my God, the late Bill Paxton. Wow. Whoa, baby. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Um, yeah, You know what? <sighs> This is good. I mean, I'm a huge fan. If um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Aliens, and if you guys remember in uh, in Aliens, um, Bill Paxton played a hell of a character. Um, but great actor, uh, big fan, and you know, love to see him make a cameo. Well, heck, hell, no, not even cameo. Cameo. He was like a pretty regular occurrence uh, in, a, in a big character arc, actually. Um, for quite a few quite a few uh, episodes, and we just pulled, holy shit! Sorry guys, I, I I don't swear often, but this is fantastic. Um, they have these uh, the autographs. The way they kind of looked at the collation again with only five hundred boxes is they had, you know, some of them are rated as like limited or very limited. This the Bill Paxton and I think like the Colby Smolders autograph, um, were like the extremely limited. In fact, I think the Colby Smolders may have only actually been in a. Um, in, I, I know, I know, I know there was a case case incentive one, I think, but wow. All right, well, this box was worth it. Definitely getting another one. Oh crap! All right, guys, that is like, what a box! What a box, guys! Bill Pat. I just mentioned the John Garrett character, Bill Paxton. I just, you know. R.I.P. baby, and we pull an on. Holy shit! Okay, well guys, it's all gravy from here. We got a couple insert cards left. What a pull! All right, well I'm excited, and there's still a um. Okay, this is cool. So this is one of the I check that out. Okay, this is the uh, sky. Um, uh, it's like the uh, what do you call it? the ID card? Wow, check this is like a legit ID. Holy crap. <laughs> Loss of this card must be reported. Dude, this is awesome. I mean, this is a this is a ridiculous check that out. It I mean literally it looks and actually feels like an actual ID card with a little hog serial. Dude, this is fantastic. I'm super impressed. I guys I hadn't seen any of them in person. I've been meaning to get a hand on these, and this is dude, this is I know y'all can hear the excitement. This is better than anticipated and better than I expected. And uh, I am super impressed. I'm running out of stands over here, guys. Um, wow. Pretty cool, guys. I mean, for insert cards, again, I get it. According to their collation, there should be one per box. I mean, excuse me, there's like one of each insert. But these inserts are fantastic. All right. We still got more, guys. There's still a gold parallel. So there's a gold number card, I believe. And we got three insert. I think there's one more type of insert. So that's the ID card. Um, I'm not shit. I'm not even sure at this point. I'm just. I can't get over this Paxton on card. Bill Paxton. That is fantastic. All right, here we go. We got more. We got more guys. Here he is. Okay, we're seeing. Obviously, we're seeing some of the same uh, cards. Like I said, 
Let's get through these last couple packs because this was what a what a monster. Bill Paxton. God bless. All right. Uh, again, was this? Yeah, this is one of the checklists. So yep. So here is the Allegiance cards. There is advanced technology. So we have not gotten an advanced technology card, and we have gotten a costume card. All right. Just that's pretty sweet. All right. Couple more packs. I don't believe that I like burned or missed the the uh, numbered card because I think it would probably would have stand, stood out more. But what what do I know, guys? What do I know? Two more packs. Like I said, I think there should be one advanced technologies insert, and we may there should be a gold parallel card. Let's see what we got. There is. Okay, so here we go. So here is the sweet. So here is the advanced technology, the icer card. Um, if you remember, those are the like non-lethal. I forget what icer stands for. Those are the uh, non-lethal. That's pretty cool though. Let's get a little sleeve on that and finishing up, guys. Finishing up. I I plumb right out of stands over here because of all the awesomeness that we got. And last pack, excuse me, last two packs. Little last two packs. Like I said, I believe there should be a. I believe they said one numbered card. Gold parallel to 100. So let's see if we can get something pretty sweet. It's already been in a ridiculous box. So, you know, I mean, there's no. There's no complaints here. And last pack. Guys, there's a possibility I might, may have even missed the gold parallel if, if that's. If it's. Oh! Maybe not. Here we go. There it is. This is it. The well. So this this is it. Here's your gold parallel. Last pack. A little last pack mojo. The well. Here's our boy Grant Ward. And it should be numbered out of 100. There we go. Let me see. Sweet. Number 8 of 100. Oh, crap. I'm dropping it. Number 8 of 100. The well. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. from the episode. Nice. Sweet. My wife's a big, my wife is a big, uh, Grant Ward fan. And then, you know, spoiler alert, he turned bad and it broke her heart. We actually met the actor Brett Dalton in person. We got a bunch of autographs and, uh, he actually signed, he signed it, uh, Hydra loves you. And she was so pissed. <laughs> All right. Anyways, guys. All right. So that was, uh, um, an awesome box guys. 2015 Rittenhouse agents of shield season one hobby box. Uh, got this off eBay. Pretty sweet little find. Um, I'm super pumped. We got a ton of base cards. Like I said, it's, I believe it's 72. I think I said 72. I've already forgotten. We looked at the checklist. I've already forgotten. 72 cards. Considering there's 100 plus here, we definitely got a full set, which is really cool. Um, we have ourselves uh, an insert. That is one of the, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Sorry, um, I got the glare because the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Advanced Technology. We've got ourselves an Icer. We've got ourselves a, uh, episode The Well, numbered 8 of 100. We've got, I mean, where do we go? So here is our ID card, and that is, uh, Agent Sky right there. Daisy Johnson, played by Chloe Bennett. And I mean, legitimately, guys, this is like an actual like ID card. It's pretty sweet. We've got ourselves our art card, which is um, a cover art by Phantom City Creative. So there's our cover art. Super cool, like, you know, holographic right there. There's the uh, Hydra bust through the shield logo and our team right there. We've got ourselves an Allegiance, Agent Maria Hill. Nice little insert. Super cool little card. Super slick. We've got ourselves, I mean, guys, honestly, <laughs> you get a uh, costume card. We've got ourselves Agent Phil Coulson. Pair of Coulson's pants. I hope it was his butt, guys. I hope it was his butt that that uh, that was pressed up against there. So there's our Phil Coulson costume card numbered 159 of 350. And, I mean, I, I just just being honest, guys, this is, this is probably the... This is definitely the most expensive card in here. Bill Paxton, on card, playing John Garrett, very limited edition autograph, personally signed by Bill Paxton, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That is sick, guys. 
Wow. What a box. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was a hell of a box. I picked a good one. Actually, I didn't. I just bought one, up, bought one on eBay and somebody sent it to me. Um, super pumped. Very excited. Can't wait for the wifey to get home tonight so we can uh, start binge watching some more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Anyways, guys, this was the 2015 Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1 made by Rittenhouse. If you haven't heard them, look them up. Um, they're no longer a business, I don't think, but they've had some really cool product for, uh, I think they started in the mid-2000s and they were putting out uh, WNBA cards. No bullshit. Anyways, um, awesome, awesome fun time, guys. I'm glad you guys stopped by. Please let us know what you're collecting. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel, share with your friends, let us know what you guys like, let us know what cool kind of off, off the wall stuff you guys have, any cool things that, um, you know, just please leave, leave your comment, leave your feedback, whatever you guys want. Sorry the videos run long, but hey, guess what? This is, this is how I like to do it and uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by and, um, what a box guys. So we will catch you next time. Hopefully we have some awesome luck, uh, as much luck as we did on this one. So everyone be safe, everyone be good. We'll catch you next time.